I rise today to oppose a transportation budget that is a wrong turn down a dead end street. This budget does absolutely nothing and offers no real transportation solutions. The funding to fix our roads and bridges, which crumbles more and more every day, it's just not in this budget. And the people of Michigan have been clear. They have been calling, writing, begging for us to fix our infrastructure. And we must take action. And that starts with properly funding the Michigan Department of Transportation and our local road agencies. We have to face facts. New revenue for the roads is what it's going to take to get the job done. This budget does nothing to raise new revenue, but instead shuffles around funding and cuts programs that Michiganders rely on. Selling off bridges, airports, and welcome centers. Are we holding a garage sale to sell our home? So trying to put together a grab bag of one-time funding doesn't produce the long-term solutions that the people of Michigan have been demanding, the solutions that they deserve. It's lazy government. It's fiscally irresponsible. And it's not what Michiganders deserve. Not only does this budget fail to provide the road funding we need, the broad cuts that have been required for operations and IT could spell disaster for MDOT. These are the kind of IT systems that we maintain with MDOT, the warranty system. We've heard over and over again that we need better warranties and we need oversight of our construction. We're saying, let's cut that. Let's just cut that system. It doesn't really matter. Electronic billing of contracts. That eliminates waste and, creates, and eliminates mistakes. And we're saying that's all right, that's not necessary. Electronic design plans to make sure we have the most modern infrastructure possible. Eh, let's cut it 25%. Contractor payments to make sure we're making good on these obligations that we have. Federal aid billing trackers. So regardless the type of project, it could just be a local road project, but there's federal dollars coming in. It's a very complicated system, and we have to maintain that and keep track of it. It's one of those systems. Oh, maybe it's not that important. So which one of these do we want to completely cut? Or should we just like cut all of them 25% and make them 25% less effective? And who knows what could happen when we're not maintaining our IT systems? So when we're already underfunding the infrastructure repairs we desperately need, do we really want to require the department to again further reduce by cutting services? This budget cuts transit options for the elderly and disabled. This budget cuts our transportation to work programs that helps hardworking Michiganders keep their jobs keeping them employed, contributing to our economy. HB 4246 is not the, the solution that our state and our people deserve. Over and over again, members from both sides of the aisle stand in this chamber and we share our hopes for the future of this state. And, and so many of those hopes, they're shared hopes. We want Michigan to be an economic engine, a world-class destination, an example for other states of the success that follows when you provide opportunity for everyone to build the life that works for them. And we all want Michigan to be safe, safe to travel on, to school, to work, to church, to shop, to vacation, for doctor's appointments, to visit families and friends, we have to have safe roads. And we cannot be an economic engine without that sound infrastructure for families and businesses to utilize. And we can't travel safely when our roads are filled with potholes. And we won't be a world-class destination when basic Basic transportation services are unavailable due to massive underfunding. 
and we can't provide opportunity for all when we're focused on short-term patches instead of those long-term fixes for the serious problems facing our state. We can do better, and we have an obligation to do better. And House Democrats are ready to work with our colleagues on a budget that fixes our problems and not on one that creates new ones. I urge my colleagues across this chamber to do better. I urge a no vote. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.